glory. Love you guys so much. You're so beautiful. Such wild, glorious expressions of Jesus. And uh, I just wanted to come to you this week uh, and share a little bit about uh, being wise as serpents and innocent as doves. <laughs> um, whoa, just so jacked up on like the the speed of heaven or uh, I don't know, just just uh, just feeling such a wild energy in God right now. Um, just to share with you, whoa, just to, uh, just declare to you that the curse is broken, the curse is broken, the curse is broken. You're going to begin to see uh, even like serpents. Uh, there's going to be an article written really soon in some scientific journal or the newspaper or USA Today or something about reptiles, snakes. I mean, snakes particularly that are going to be regrowing their legs. Snakes, a cer certain species of snakes that had never uh, had legs before is going to have legs just to signify that the curse is broken. <laughs> so yeah, just, just, uh, just check it out. It's going to be awesome. Just a testimony to uh, what Jesus Christ did on that cross when he redeemed all creation. Everything's been restored to the perfect state in which it was intended. The original thought, the original thought dream that God had about you and about everything in the world is, is, uh, is whoa, the, the, all uh, creation has been groaning in eager expectation for right now, Psh, for the time when you and your family and your friends are popping into full-blown a manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. Uh, Romans 8 says, all creation has been longing for this time. Uh, Jesus, uh, from the foundation of the world, had already restored everything. But as we realize it here, there's going to be a manifestation out there. So as we realize it here, as we realize it in the wholeness of our being, all of our being smiling with the smile of God, uh, we're going to see the restoration of everything to the original thought dream. So it sounds too good to be true. That's fine. I still believe it. And, uh, and it's going to happen uh, just through, you know, the simple childlike faith of a few uh, that are just getting wrecked by this. And then I believe everybody's going to get it uh, eventually. So hallelujah. But, um, whoa, just wanted to talk about, you know, being wise as serpents and innocent as doves. And what that means, I just feel the Lord speaking so much about this. Wise as serpents and, uh, and innocent as doves. Um, whoa, because, uh, and this is why I was talking about the serpent for a minute, like, uh, both the serpent and the dove are just as equally holy, beautiful in their in their creative capacity. Um, and uh, but uh, being being uh, wise as a serpent is like a snake. It says that the snake was crafty, and uh, I believe God had created uh, snakes to be crafty, and He's created you to be uh, cr crafty and wise. Like wise and crafty in the sense of um, I, there's something about when you meet somebody who has become so disillusioned with, uh, with all the false things of the world. There, there's a health to um, having tried a lot of things and uh, known by experience woo, that they uh, don't work, <laughs> has tasted a lot of things and known what doesn't taste good and what does taste good. And uh, like, there's something so um, beautiful and healthy when you, when you meet somebody like that. It's like... Um, you know, we, sometimes we think of disillusionment as like a bad word, but wow, I'm like totally disillusioned with religion. I'm completely like disillusioned with, uh, with anything that isn't the pure finished like message of all mankind's perfection and inclusion in Christ. Everything else just like, it has no appeal left for me at all. Like it's like, uh, like, like when the teacher and Charlie Brown's talking, wah, 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 it just doesn't have anything left for me anymore, you know? And uh, there's something really healthy about having that kind of a, of a like, um, you know, being finished and done with all the old religious stuff. There's just like a, um, just a holy, like, like wisdom there to being uh, just completely done with like uh, your own efforts, you know, your own, uh, striving, your own attempts to please God, your own attempts to like make yourself good or you make your life good on your own. And uh, I believe that's part of like the wisdom of the, the serpent. Like um, it's funny, like, you know, it, if, if you don't have the innocent of the doves, it can become like a jadedness. Um, but if you, if you combine the two, the wisdom, and it, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, Jesus was obviously implying by that phrase, but but I just feel the Holy Spirit highlighting right now, especially to you guys in the gospel, like finish, like, you know, 
uh, grace whack people whacked up Jesus junkies that know it's finished. Uh, he's saying like, it's so good to just be completely like uh, disillusioned with that old like law system with the old like do it yourself, whatever to be completely done with that. But then also to maintain an innocence that's like uh, this sweet, tender, like no bitterness, no, um, no, like, uh, it's not just, it's not just disillusionment, but it's, um, it's like the, it's, it's the out with the old, but now you're, everything's fresh and new again. Like you're like a baby skin in your heart. Like you're, you, you become like so alive with an innocence, like a dove, like, like a sweet, like bird of the Holy Spirit. That's like, so, uh, just like, uh, available, so sensitive, so like, um, just, just fresh, you know, fresh eyes. Ha, ha. Just give yourself the Isaac eyes right now. Bam. Just give it, just look yourself in the mirror and see how alive you are to see that you're not just done with the old. You're not just disillusioned. And now you just kind of are like chilling, but you now there's a freshness to your life and innocence. Like, like, uh, everything's so childlike. I love the, I love meditating on the childlike heart of God, you know, like uh, Bob Jones said in one of his encounters, and I've experienced this too with the Lord for sure, for sure, that the Father is more childlike than all the children of the earth combined. <laughs> and you have such a fresh aliveness, you know. Um, there's nothing like meeting a person that's so just fresh and childlike and, and innocent. It's like, it just brings like a lightness to the atmosphere. It brings like such a purity to the atmosphere and it's also like a real atmosphere where the supernatural and it's just the kingdom of God you know um, you're restored to see things again imagine like when Adam first opened his eyes as God breathed upon him <sighs> the breath of life like what was Adam experiencing there you know <laughs> you know you can you I, it's funny you can like you can open your eyes like that and you might think like a child you have so much to learn but if you then also combine that with the experience that God has allowed you to have in your life of like seeing how, you know, uh, nothing else works but Jesus. Nothing works except complete reliance upon the infinite God within you. Uh, everything else is just like, you know, just pointless, pointless, pointless. Everything is meaningless like Ecclesiastes says. Uh, but then when you find and discover the, the, the fullness of God dwelling inside of you, then um, you find that's the only thing. Oh my God! He's his presence is our only good. His presence is the only point. Then, uh, whoa! Then you're renewed to be done with the old, but now let life in this pure and new place. So, whoa! So I just wanted to you know release that little encouraging word to you in the heavy weighting lower, and just take a hit right now off of my baby face. I'm growing a little facial hair there, but I'm just. I have the baby anointing, and I just give it to you. I just give you the ju 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 ju. I also have the disillusion anointing. If you hang a lot around with me long enough, you can, you know, you just take it right now. Just take it right now out of your belly, anyways. You don't need to get it from me, but but I lose it to you anyways because you're watching my video. You can just have the boo zoo zoo zoo, the zoo 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 of the old is pointless, but the new has come the old you is co-crucified and co-buried and co-disappeared your old sober self hallelujah has been removed and you're just seated right now in heavenly bliss where everybody's like a little baby in the glory everybody's like a little child in the glory <laughs> yeah 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 so Anyway, um, just keep being completely whacked up, no matter what people say. This thing's just getting crazier and crazier. I'm telling you, like, of course, we're getting, like, more understanding and more revelation, but we're not sobering up to become serious men and women of God who've got it all figured out. This is staying like little kids, just like that first youth group revival you experienced back in 04 or 94 or 84, that first youth group just, just you were a part of where there was just such a aliveness because it was the first time. 
I just restore that first time anointing to you right now, that first time Holy Ghost, that freshness. And you and your community and your family are just going to be so fresh. You're just going to see people completely jaded about the old, not going back to striving, not going back to works, performance-based righteousness. But you're going to be so freaking established in the new, new, new covenant. Wise as a serpent, but innocent as a little cooing dove. So... Yeah, I'm drunk. I had a lot to drink today in the glory. A lot of crazy miracles and uh, bam. So anyway, I just, just, you know, I just released that freshness and that that, uh, that disillusionment but absolute childlike innocence over you today. And uh, just go and enjoy your life. Don't sober up when you're done with this video. Let's go from drunk to drunker to drunkest in the inseparable union that you have with the Godhead in Christ. And I love you. Be blessed. Till next time, in Jesus' name.